The LA Chargers currently sit at an 8-6 record and the 6th seed in the AFC wildcard hunt. So, like we do every single week, we're going to be breaking down the current standings and the games this week and who you should be rooting for to win, as well as what how likely that is for that to occur. So, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It truly means the world to me, but let's not waste any more of your time. Let's go and get right into things. Now, as mentioned, the Chargers currently sit at a 6th seed in the AFC wildcard hunt. And... If you didn't know, they could potentially clinch a playoff spot this week. So, we're going to be talking about that in a second, as well as the games this week and who you should be rooting for. Of course, the Chargers game being the most important. All these picks will be based on the fact that assuming the Chargers win, as that is the most relevant and most important in the scenario. But first, let's start with the standings and the AFC standings, of course, because NFC technically has no relevancy to the Chargers and their current wildcard spot. So, the number one seed in the AFC is the Buffalo Bills with an 11-3 record. They have already clinched their playoff spot, but they have not clinched the division as the Dolphins are still technically in the race and could take the spot if the Dolphins were to win out and the Bills were to lose out. Now, the one seed, of course, is the only seed that gets a bye week. And the Chiefs sit at the second seed with the 11-3 record, and they have clinched the division because their two wins against the Chargers would mean the Chargers would have to end with a better record, not the same, and that's impossible because the worst the Chiefs could do is 11-6, and that's the best that the Chargers could do. So the Bills and the Chiefs have the same record, although the Chiefs have a better conference record, which puts them at the one seed. One and two, really, really close race. I think either one of these could end up in that one or two seed at the end of things, but that's how it sits currently. The three seed is the Bengals at a 10 and four record. They just took the seed away from the Ravens after the Ravens lost a pretty tough game to watch against the Browns. Either one of these guys could probably win this division, but as it currently sits, we have the Bengals at a 10 and four record at the three seed. The four seed is the Tennessee Titans at seven and seven after taking a you know, really important win for the Chargers. Chargers beat them last week. You know, great game to watch. And that was really, really important. But the Titans sit at 7-7 seven and seven as the fourth seed at the top of their division in the AFC South. The fifth seed, of course, the first wildcard spot will be the Ravens. Currently, it seems like a lot of doubts are surrounding Lamar Jackson when his return may be. But they sit at a 9-5 and five record. The fifth seed right above the Chargers. Now, of course, Chargers at the sixth seed at an 8-6 and six record is the most important and potentially could take the Ravens seed away from them in the next few weeks here but as it sits their sixth seed at eight and six and the Dolphins are the seventh seed with the same record as Chargers at eight and six of course Chargers holding that tiebreaker after beating the Dolphins two weeks ago now outside of the playoffs teams are still technically in the hunt we have the Patriots at seven and seven the Jets at seven and seven, the Jaguars at six and eight who potentially could take a wildcard spot but the more likely scenario is for them to take that a four seed away from the Tennessee Titans. It is likely, how likely, I'm not so sure, but that is something to watch out for as the Jaguars, of course, beat the Chargers while the Chargers beat the Titans. Could be an important game when it comes down, or it could be an important scenario when it comes down to things on who the Chargers could potentially face in the wild card if the Chargers are to move up. The Raiders are also still in the race at six and eight. Uh, if they lose one more game, they're out, at least in relevancy to the Chargers, as long as the Chargers are to win. Browns at 6-8, and eight, Steelers at 6-8, and eight, and then the Colts are technically still in things. Of course, Chargers playing them this week could knock them out of playoff contention, but at a 4-9-1 and one record, the only seed that they could take would be to win their division in the AFC South over the Titans. They'd have to completely win out and the Titans lose for them to do so, but they're technically still in the race. Now, as mentioned, the Chargers could clinch this week. So let's talk about clinching scenarios and let's move on to the games and who you should be rooting for. So there are three current clinching scenarios for the Chargers. And of course, the win for the Chargers is the most important of these three. They cannot make the they cannot clinch this week if they do not win. But first scenario, the Chargers need to win. Las Vegas Raiders need to lose and or tie. And you're gonna notice that's a, a prominent theme as you know if they, if they push the Raiders out then a lot of things get a little bit easier. New England would also need to lose, and the New York Jets would also need to lose, and that would clinch for the Chargers. The next scenario, Chargers win once again. Las Vegas needs to win, or needs to lose and or tie. New England needs to lose. New York Jets need to tie, and Miami needs to lose. And the third and final scenario for the Chargers to clinch would once again be a Chargers win, a Raiders loss and or tie. The New England could tie in the scenario 
and New York Jets would need to lose and Miami would need to lose. The easiest scenario would be three teams to lose and the Chargers to win. And the worst could be three teams lose, or two teams could tie, two teams could lose, and the Chargers win. Of course, you have three separate scenarios right there the Chargers could clinch. But how likely it is, I'm not quite sure. So let's talk about the games, who you should be rooting for, and how likely that scenario is to occur. Now, Thursday Night Football is, you know, quite an important game, actually, that will be occurring tomorrow. And that's going to be the Jaguars versus the Jets. Now, technically speaking, you could root for either team in this scenario. Now, you could say that you want the Jets to beat the Jaguars because the Jaguars already beat the Chargers. And limiting the Jaguars' chances of making the playoffs, taking that fourth seed, which the Chargers could face the fourth seed if they are to take that fifth seed away from the Ravens, you may want to see the Titans, who the Chargers have already beat this week, over the Jaguars, who the Jaguars, of course, beat the Chargers earlier. So you could theoretically root for the Jets. Now, I will be rooting for the Jaguars to beat the Jets because of the fact that that would boost the chances for the Chargers to make the playoffs as well as clinch this week. So I guess you could root for whomever you want in this scenario. I think either or winning could be quite potentially possible, especially since I don't know if Mike White has been cleared quite yet. But I will be rooting for the Jaguars to win this to hopefully clinch for the Chargers this week. Next game will be the Falcons versus the Ravens. 90% of the time when it's NFC team versus AFC team, you're going to root for the NFC. This scenario is the exact same. You're going to root for the Falcons over the Ravens. I'm not sure if Lamar Jackson will be participating in this game quite yet. I've not seen the updates on that. But rooting for the Falcons over the Ravens could put the Chargers in a spot to take that fifth seed. I'm not sure if they could take it this week or if it would have to be next week as you know the Ravens losing and the Chargers winning this week would put them in the same record. I'm not quite sure what the Ravens' conference record is, which would be the tiebreaker in that scenario. But a Ravens loss to the Falcons could could be very important and potentially move the Chargers up to the fifth seed, which would put them against the Titans and or the Jaguars. Now, how likely this one is, I'm not quite sure. I think it's going to be all dependent on Lamar Jackson if he plays or not. If he doesn't play, I think the Falcons could quite potentially take this one if he does play I don't feel so confident in that but Rufer Falcons over Ravens next game Lions versus Panthers two NFC teams means no relevancy to playoff hopes for the Chargers now I will be personally rooting for the Lions I mean they're a one and six team they're somehow seven seven they're in the playoff race right outside it's a really fun team to root for and I might be making a video on how they kind of turned it around really fun team I will be rooting for the Lions but this game has no relevancy to the Chargers playoff hopes. The next game here will be the Seahawks versus the Chiefs. Now, there's a couple ways you can look at this. If you would like to see the Chiefs lose, root for the Seahawks. That could put the Chiefs in a scenario where they could potentially fall down to like three seed. I don't think they could fall to the four seed. <sighs> Excuse me. But they could fall to the three seed. Now, you could also look at it as you want the Chiefs to win so that you know, the Chargers don't have to maybe face them so early. Now, I think, as much as I hate to say it, I think I may root for the Chiefs to win this game, whether you want to or not is up to you. But I'm saying I might root for the Chiefs because every single game between the Chargers and the Chiefs is close. I think the Chargers could beat the Chiefs. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. But the fact of the matter is, if the Chargers were to face the Chiefs in the first round of the playoffs, in the wild card, I think that would lead to the Chargers potentially getting beat up and definitely worn out and sore following that next week in the playoffs. And that's not what you want. You want a fully healthy team with a lot of energy through most of the playoffs. And I think facing the Chiefs in the wildcard spot could wear the Chargers down. So I will be personally rooting for the Chiefs to beat the Seahawks in hopes that the Chargers don't have to face the Chiefs so early to wear them out before they can make you know a deep push. I think the Chargers can beat them no matter what time they see them. But I think it could wear them out enough where it might make some later matchups be a little bit more difficult. So, in this scenario, Chiefs already won the division. Root for whomever you may choose. I will root for the Chiefs as I don't really want to see them in the wild card because it could lead to more implications later on down the road. Saints versus Browns will be the next matchup here. I think the Browns are at 6-8. I think the Saints are either the same record or at 5-9. I will be rooting for the Saints over the Browns. Hopefully remove the Browns from any wildcard chances against the Chargers. Of course, they fall to 6-9. And, and as long as the Chargers win, because that's for, the Chargers need to win for all these picks to you know have relevancy. Otherwise, it might alter some picks. 
that could push the Browns out of taking the Chargers spot. So I'll be rooting for the Saints over the Browns. Saints have been playing under expectations. The Browns have not looked good at all. This one I could see going either way. Of course, I will be rooting for the Saints over the Browns here. Next matchup is a debatable matchup here. You have the Texans versus the Titans. Now, the most likely scenario, what would likely happen will be the Titans beating the Texans. I don't really see a chance where the Texans upset the Titans. But, you could root for the Titans or the Texans in this scenario. Now, there's two ways to look at this. You could root for the Titans win as the Chargers already beat the Titans. If the Chargers move up to the fifth seed, the Titans would maintain that fourth seed. And since Chargers already beat the Titans, you could, you know, see a chance where they beat them twice in this year. So, a Titans win here would push them higher in their division and potentially lock them into their division in the next week or so here. And then if the Chargers moved to the five seed, they would face Titans, whom they've already beat. Now, another side of things, if you would rather see the Jaguars, if the Chargers are to move up, then you could root for the Texans to beat the Titans. Now, why might you want to see the Jaguars, speaking from the fact that it was already a really, really tough game earlier in the year? Well, I think the Jaguars played at their highest level that they've played all year when they were going against the Chargers. And I don't really see them being able to pull that off again. So if you would like to see the Jaguars against the Chargers, potentially in the first wildcard race, wildcard game, then you could root for the Texans over the Titans. But I do think it's unlikely for that to happen. And I would rather see the Titans, although the Titans will get better from injuries recovering, I still don't see the Titans as a super scary team. I don't see the Jaguars as a super scary team either. But the Jaguars already did find a way to beat the Chargers, so maybe a little bit easier game for them to go against Titans. I will personally be rooting for a Titans win here to hopefully keep them as that four seed, potentially charge move into that fifth seed, go against them first round of the wild card. They already found a way to beat them once. They could quite potentially do it again. So who would you rather see, Jaguars or Titans? That's how you should make your decision on who you should root for this week, Texans versus Titans. I think the most likely scenario will be Titans to win that game, though. Next game, a game that's quite important actually will be the Bengals versus the Patriots. Now, of course, the Bengals are the three seed, 10-4 record, just took it from the Ravens. So the best scenario here would be the Bengals to beat the Patriots, as the Patriots need to lose and or tie for the Chargers to clinch this week. But if you see the Chargers, you know, Chargers win out their guaranteed spot in here. So if you would rather see the Bengals lose, they have a worse record entering the playoffs. I guess that's a fair assumption, especially if you dislike the Bengals because I know a lot of Chargers fans do because of Joe Burrow. I don't hate the Bengals. I'm going to rooting for the Bengals to win this game over the Patriots because it could quite potentially clench the playoff race for the Chargers. Next game, Giants versus Vikings. Once again, no relevancy. Two NFC teams means nothing is important for a wildcard race for the Chargers. Personally, I don't have a horse in this race, but I will be hoping that the Vikings offense does well. I don't care what the final score is. Because I have Justin Jefferson and TJ Hawkinson is my, you know, in my, oh, geez, why fantasy football league. Geez, I blanked on that. So, doesn't matter who you root for, root for whomever you may wish. I will likely root for the Vikings just because of having their players on my fantasy. Next game, Bills versus Bears. I don't think this one has too much relevancy. I don't see the Bills losing this in any way, shape, or form against the Bears. I suppose you could root for the Bears and see the Bills fall out of that top seed. Or if you if the Chiefs and the Bills lose, then they could both end up with a worse record, which could be a good thing. I don't see the Bills losing this. And if anything, the Bills look a little scarier than the Chiefs do, in all honesty. So I'd rather see the Bills later on down the road than early. I think the same scenario occurs where... If you face the Bills or the Chiefs in round one, if you somehow win, which I think the Chargers could against both scenarios, you're going to be beat up. So who would you rather face You know, earlier on could be how you decide who you want to win this game. I'm going to be rooting for the Bills. Actually, I'm not going to be rooting for either team, but I think it's more likely for the Bills to win. Root for whomever you may wish. It really has no alteration on if the Chargers will make the wild card. It could on who the Chargers face, but not on who will make wild card. Commanders 49ers is up next. Two NFC teams, no relevancy once again. Eagles Cowboys, two NFC teams, no relevancy once again. Root for whomever you may want in both of those games. I don't really care 
in either scenario, except for I'd like to see the Cowboys lose because every the Cowboys fans just are really toxic. Although Eagles fans aren't very much better. Uh, Raiders Steelers is your next game. This one actually does carry a lot of relevancy. Of course, all of those clinching scenarios involved the St- or involved the Raiders either losing and or tying. I could honestly see this game ending up in a tie. I think it's more likely for the Raiders to beat the Steelers. The Steelers just don't look like a good team. The Raiders have found a way to be good as of late, and they have a lot better roster when you look at it on paper. But you're going to be rooting for the Steelers to win this game because the Raiders losing is the best case scenario for the Chargers clinching. Not only now, this week, but also later on down the road. So root for the Steelers. I don't think that's going to be very likely, but you want to root for the Steelers to beat the Raiders. The next matchup will be the Packers versus the Dolphins. The Dolphins, a 8-6 record. Chargers are above them. The only way the Chargers fall below the Dolphins is if the Chargers lose one of these games last three, which, you know, could happen. I don't hope for it to happen. I do not want it to happen, but it could happen. So, you want to root for the Packers. Hopefully create a little bit of a barrier. I'll be for the Chargers versus, you know, Dolphins in wildcard positioning. So, root for the Packers. See the Dolphins drop another game. Move to 8-7. and seven. Hopefully, Chargers move on. Excuse me to uh, nine and six, which could get it so that they could guarantee a clinch in the next week if they don't already this week. So, and also a Dolphins loss is one of the scenarios for the Chargers to clinch a spot in the playoffs this week. So, we're for Packers over Dolphins. I don't think that's super unlikely. The Packers kind of win games that they're not supposed to, and they've looked. Pretty decent as of late. Of course, Aaron Rodgers is going to win you games here and there. Defense has not been great, and the Dolphins have been on fire on offense. But the Chargers kind of showed a way how to take down that offense a little bit. And I think the Packers have enough on defense to match close to what the Chargers did to slow down the Dolphins. Roof for the Packers. I don't see it super likely, but I think it could happen nonetheless. This next game here is going to be Brown or sorry Broncos versus Rams. Now. Both these teams are eliminated from playoffs, but both these teams the Chargers are going to face in their final two weeks. Of course, this week Colts, next week Rams, final week Broncos. So how you want to look at this is completely up to you. Would you rather face a team next week who just came off a loss and is at the 4-9 and nine record they would fall to, I think, the Rams? Something like that, or maybe 3-10, and 10, I'm not quite sure. Would you rather see next week be against a you know, really, really bad team, or the final week be against a bad team record-wise? Who, who would you rather have a worse record? Who You know, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Personally, I think next week the Chargers could clench if they don't already this week, and hopefully that Broncos game will be irrelevant for a win or loss. Hopefully that will mean that the Chargers can rest people. So I'm going to be rooting for, you know, honestly... I'm going to be honest. It might be nice to have the Rams lose this week so that they're a little bit worse entering next week, but I really don't like the Broncos. So I'm going to say I'm rooting for the Rams. I do like what Baker Mayfield has done. I'm going to root for Rams over Broncos. Hopefully they don't look super good because the Chargers are going to have to face them next week. And I think the Chargers can't take down the Rams and the Broncos. But let's have, personally, if you want to root for Broncos, feel free. But I don't want to see the Broncos win as a Chargers fan. So I'm going to root Rams over Broncos. Just because I don't like the Broncos that much. But rule for whomever you may choose. Sunday Night Football, Buccaneers, Cardinals. Really no relevancy. I think both these guys are in the playoff hunt. Just in their division. So whomever you think the worst team out of these two is. Root for the worst team. Just on the off chance that they somehow make a run in the playoffs. And make it to the Super Bowl. And the Chargers also somehow make a run and make it to the Super Bowl. You'd want, well, you would rather have a worse team. So root for the worst team that you think in this scenario. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. And Monday Night Football, of course, the most important game is going to be the Chargers versus the Colts. And I think it's likely the Chargers win this. The Chargers need to win this. Of course, it's the most important game over the entire week. And hopefully they can do so. Clinch a playoff spot, which, again, is likely potentially could happen this week. And at least boost their chance of making playoffs long term if they don't clinch this week. Charge over Colts. Now, of course, I'm going to have my uh, video on this game, on the keys to success for the Chargers. That will be uploaded on Friday, most likely, so feel free to look out for that. But the Chargers beating the Colts is the most important scenario. So now that we've covered 
the current playoff seedings, the clenching scenarios for the Chargers, and the games this week, who you should be rooting for, and how likely it is. It's time to ask you guys a question. For one, who will you be rooting for this week in games not related to the Chargers? And do you think the Chargers will be able to clinch this week? What are your guys' thoughts on that? Feel free to comment down below. And also, what do you think this game for the Chargers versus Colts can look like? Of course, my video will be out on Friday, but I'd love to hear you guys' opinions while I prepare for that video. Now, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. It truly means the world to me. And as always, I hope it taught some today. Hope it made smile. Hope it made you laugh. Some really important to me. Affects my own state in a great way. And as always, you guys all be safe out there.